We're at Qualcomm Snapdragon Tech Summit taking a look here at the HP MV X2 PC. Now this might look like a fairly typical two-in-one, right? But there's something a little bit different inside this particular system, and that is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor. Now, of course, most of these systems currently have Intel processors. Uh, well, in fact, pretty much all of them do. And, you know, that's great for performance, but Qualcomm thinks it has some particular things that it can offer. Uh, notice notably uh, LTE. And so this particular device has LTE. You can see the SIM card slot over here on the side. Uh, so you can uh, use this on the internet anywhere mobile data is available. And when you're talking about something like a two-in-one tablet device, that seems pretty handy. Uh, another big boon here is battery life. HP says this particular model, when it comes out, will be the longest lasting detachable uh, device, Windows PC available. Now that means about 20 hours of battery life. And that supposedly is going to be a pretty mixed use sort of case. So you could potentially use this for several days without recharging it. That's one of the big points Qualcomm is making. They're making the point that you can use it over multiple days without having to charge. So that could be very exciting as well. Now, other than that, I do have to say HP Envy X2 PC is a pretty premium looking device. We don't have any uh, pricing information on it yet, but we do know it will be available in spring of 2018. Other specifications to note, this does have eight gigabytes of RAM, so certainly not hurting in that department. Also, it's quoted at up to 256 gigabytes of solid state storage. Uh, we don't know what the base level is going to be there yet, but uh, Asus model, which was also announced today, has a base of 64 gigabytes of storage. So maybe it will be similar there. Now the display is 19, 80 by 1200, so a little more square, uh, 16 by 10 aspect ratio. And it's got Corning Gorilla Glass Glass 4 for protection. It looks pretty vivid here. It's not necessarily the best looking display we've ever seen, but it seems to do quite a good job. Of course, this is 12.3 inch display, so that resolution uh, will actually look very crisp on this particular machine.